we want to evaluate the following expressions for the given values and then use the graphing calculator to check the answer. We first have the expression 5x minus 8. We want to evaluate this for x equals negative 9. And since 5x means 5 times x, when we substitute negative 9 for x, we would have 5 times negative 9 minus 8. And now to evaluate this, we follow the order of operations. So we multiply before we subtract. And since 5 times negative 9 equals negative 45, we have negative 45 minus 8, which is equal to negative 53. Let's go ahead and check this. We have 5 times negative 9 minus 8, which does equal negative 53. Next, we have the expression 2 minus 4x. We want to evaluate this when x equals negative 7. So we substitute negative 7 for x. Remember, 4x means 4 times x. So we have 2 minus 4 times negative 7. Following the order of operations, we do want to multiply before subtracting. So we would have 2 minus 4 times negative 7 equals negative 28. And here we have minus negative 28, which is equivalent to just plus 28. So we have a sum of 30. Now in this example, I do want to point out that we could have skipped this step here. We can think of this as negative 4 times negative 7, which is equal to positive 28, giving us plus 28 as we see here. Either way, the result is 30. And checking this on the calculator, we have 2 minus 4 times negative 7. which is equal to 30. Next we have 1 half bh for b equals 4 and h equals 9.5. Notice how we have a fraction here and a decimal for h. We normally don't want to mix fractions and decimals, so let's convert 9.5 to an improper fraction. Well 9.5 is equal to a 9 and a half. And converting this to an improper fraction, the denominator would be 2 the numerator would be 2 times 9 plus 1, which would be 18 plus 1, or 19. So instead of using 9.5 for h, we'll go ahead and use 19 halves. So now performing the substitution, we'd have 1 half times b, which is 4. Because we have a fraction here, let's write 4 as 4 over 1, times h, which we'll write as 19 halves. And now before we multiply, we'll simplify. Notice 2 and 4 share a common factor of 2. There's 1, 2, and 2, and 2, 2's and 4. And notice how here we have a common factor of 2 as well. There's 1, 2, and 2, and 1, 2, and 2. So simplifying, notice how we're just left with 1 times 1 times 19, which is 19, all over 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1. So this simplifies nicely to 19. Let's go ahead and check this on the calculator. On the calculator, we can just use 9.5. So we have 1 half times 4 times 9.5 and enter, verifying our answer. Next, we have 5x squared plus 6x minus 3. We want to evaluate this when x equals 2. So we substitute 2 for x. So we'd have 5 times 2 squared plus 6 times 2 minus 3. Following the order of operations, we first want to simplify the exponent here. 2 squared is equal to 4, so we'd have 5 times 4 plus 6 times 2 minus 3. Next, we multiply. 5 times 4 is equal to 20. 6 times 2 is equal to 12. And now we add and subtract from left to right. 20 plus 12 is equal to 32. 32 minus 3 is equal to 29. Let's check on the calculator. 5 times 2 squared plus 6 times 2 and minus 3. Once again, verifying, our answer is correct. I hope you found this helpful.